some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and Devin and I are continuing Madara Act 1, Chapter 5. We're we just got done doing, uh, surprisingly an easy fight. It still took... Yeah, that was too bad. It frankly. still took a while. I mean, I'll take it, like, especially because we didn't restore. Mm -hmm. It's like, thank God. Uh, so, we move on to a short victory. A short victory. A short victory. The soul butcher took one last plotting step, then collapsed with a meaty thud. The whole room shook with the impact, and a few knives He's and so other tools fat. were knocked from the tables. Far in the distance, through an open side passage, they heard angry yells. One voice was soon joined by others, until several soul butchers were all howling together. Oh, Time to go! shouted the pixies in unison, buzzing around Zeke and pulling him by his shirt towards the door. He didn't need much encouragement as he took off running. The others joined him, and soon Shalus was slamming the door closed behind them. <laughs> then we move on to warn us next time. Hello? If you want to hand me the, you pick no, I don't. Oh, I'm not put that warn us next time. Hey, could you maybe warn us next time? Nightingale asked, trying in vain to brush some of the stains off her skirt. About what? Asked Green, flying past Zeke to hover in front of Nightingale. Green managed to fly backward without slowing down, which might have been impressive if Nightingale wasn't already so annoyed. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? I mean, warn us when you're going to lead us to a people-eating horror monster, Nightingale barked. We can't just fly away from our problems like you can. We said be quiet. We never wake him, Green said. She flitted back and forth. Not us. You woke him, Orange agreed. We cannot warn you of things you will do, Green exclaimed. Not our fault you woke him, Orange agreed again. Okay, we get Not it. Not at all, <laughs> Green said. Nightingale let out a frustrated groan. Okay, whatever. Just warn us next time there's potential danger. <coughs> they continued through the labyrinth and caverns in silence after that. It was hard to tell if the pixies were following the dried blood trail Zeke had first noticed, or if the path just happened to lead in the same direction. The Malama kept whispering in Nightingale's ear, You need to turn back. It sounded more desperate every time it spoke into her mind. Nightingale ignored it. <laughs> Eventually, a steep ramp descended into a chamber lined with towering pillars. The other side of the room was piled high with gold, coins, bars, and intricate pieces of wrought jewelry. It was the wealth of a king. Resting atop it was a massive wooden coffin, the bottom of which was completely buried in gold. Then we move on to grabbing our things. Oh, man. Okay. Grabbing our things. Don't go anywhere, Orange said, buzzing past Zeke's head and flying across the room. We just need to get our stuff. Do not touch anything, Green added, flying in front of everyone. She stopped briefly in front of Zeke, who had already started making his way over to the gold. <laughs> this trap isn't for you. Zeke hesitated, sharing a nervous glance with <laughs> oh. Nightingale. What do you think they're doing? Nightingale asked, staring after the pixies. I don't know, but at least they're not using whatever trap they have against us, Zeke muttered. That's a good sign. The pixies grabbed either end of a large chain that ran along the top of a coffin that was propped atop the gold pile. Oh, the links were so big they could have been easily crushed between them. Instead, they lifted their wings beating furiously, and began moving forward. They pulled the coffin upright, dragging it towards the open door. As they did so, the piles of gold and treasure all dissolved into a fine red mist. Oh, it was just a big empty room with a single coffin. Zeke got a better look as they brought the coffin closer. A large hole had been cut into the front at about head level with metal bars running across it. It looked like a prison for a corpse. As he stared, he could make out a faint, pulsing light from inside, like a star trying to be born. He looked away, shivering. What the hell are you doing? Damocles asked. We're taking our box, the pixie said gleefully. <laughs> it's our box. They had made it most of the way. Um, it's leaking blood. <laughs> it's our box. <laughs> it's our box and our blood. <laughs> the exit already and had to look back. It's a rescue, Green said excitedly. It's a rescue. So we have to save our master. We couldn't just leave our master here, Orange added. Oh, no, 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 Green agreed. Uh, Zeke started. Your master is in there? Damocles shook his head. 
If your master is dead, I don't think you have to bring him. I mean, I don't even know how you can lift that thing, let alone carry it to find justice and then back out of here. Stop. A voice came from within the coffin, accompanied by a faint flickering in the light. Zeke jumped back, eyes widening. The coffin spoke again. The voice from within sounded human, far more human than the butcher had. There was only a slight reverberating echo, like Zeke might expect for someone speaking from inside a box. I'm no longer my body, and my body is not here, it said. Only my soul. My loyal espers and I have been trapped together in the eerie for uncounted years. I trust their decision not to feed your essence to me. They were quick to mention the trap we've used in the past on other, less fortunate creatures. You can't take their essence, both pixies said together, voices urgent. The handsome one is on a quest, Green said. A quest to save us, Orange added. His little dick was too nice. A secret quest to save us, they said Does in unison. Does everyone know? He broke the evil stone to set us free. Orange wiggled excitedly under the burden of the chain. We can't come between an adventure and his reward. Is that so? The light within the coffin seemed to intensify, as though whatever was inside were examining Zeke. A fair lady always repays his knight, Green said. Orange flew another tight circle around Always the coffin, nice. <laughs> landing to rest on her chain. She was still staring down at Zeke. He shivered under her intense eyes, looking away. The coffin sighed loudly. Very well. What does your knight request in exchange for freeing me? Zeke didn't hesitate. We're looking for someone else. At his words, the pixies looked at each other almost in shock. As well as you, Zeke added quickly. Mm -hmm. The pixies returned to smiling. But our friend, I'm afraid she might be with the Shadow Lord or close to him or something. I mean, she's down here somewhere. I thought the Pixies were taking us to her. The Pixie's face grew dark again. But I misunderstood that we we're supposed to help you before we found her. The coffin was quiet for a long moment. You cannot kill the Shadow Lord, the coffin finally said. I cannot help you fight what cannot be killed. Yet, I could help you find her. Escort me to the surface, and in exchange, I will give you directions to the heart of the Shadow Lord's domain. If your companion is in the Eyrie, that is where you will find her. Though I am not to blame if all you find is a corpse. Zeke swallowed hard, the thought sending shivers through him. He nearly jumped as Shayla's put her hand on his shoulder. <laughs> Please give us a moment. It's not really said. masculine we hands. <laughs> like just Shayla like thick Amish out. fucking <laughs> work in the fields, gnarled. <laughs> <laughs> the hall, out of earshot. If the coffin had any objection, it made no complaint. Okay. So is that the option? Nope, not yet. Oh. Uh, do we have the story flag reluctant partnership? You know, so we continue so to what? Like, fuck this, guys. You know what this is? This is a. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I bet this would be the perfect time to have uh, Zoltan or whatever his name was. Zephyr. Zamacles. Zamacles. <laughs> Zoltan. Zolt. Uh, what's another monster? What's another monster? I do monster? really like the art, though, Rook when you do spoke get up it. in a harsh whisper. You aren't considering this, are you? That thing outright admitted that it would have killed us. The only reason we are alive is because those weird pixies are in love with Zeke. <laughs> we can't let it loose. Of course I'm not considering oh, it, Shayla's began to say. We already failed to keep the eerie closed. I'm not going to help creatures down here get out. Traveling all the way back to the surface would waste more time, and guiding that thing out is dangerous. Patrick motioned back towards the coffin. You honestly think that thing needs us to find its way out? If it knows the way directly to the Shadow Lord's lair... I'm sure it could find its way out without us. Like you said, Rook, those pixies have a crush on Zeke. The thing is just humoring them. If we refuse to take it up on its offer, what would stop it from turning on us? Do you think it'd be easier to fight it than to escort it out? And how much time would it take? We need to get moving. This is our best shot. Rook groaned, shaking his head. There's always another way. We can look for another path ourselves. Shalis is right. Do we really want to waste time taking this huge thing back to the surface? What if it's lying and it just turns on us after we show it the way out? If we lead this thing out of here, we're responsible for the deaths it causes, Shayla said. Could be none. Her face dark. <laughs> Anything it kills will be because we allowed it to go free. 
Those deaths will be on our heads. Can you live with that? Can you live with passing up the opportunity to save justice? To save Nightingale? Zeke asked. They stood silent for a moment. You're wasting time, the coffin called down the hallway. If you want to find your friend alive, I suggest we hurry. The party must make a decision. Help the coffin escape the eerie and might help you find justice. Or decline helping the creature, it will have to find its own way out. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> well, what do we do? Where is your leaning, Seth? Uh, my leaning is to help the coffin escape the you eerie. Want to help the coffin escape the eerie. <laughs> Look. If Zeke will do anything he can to get his dick wet, <laughs> if it's not justice, it's going to have to be these pixies. <laughs> and make the coffin watch. <laughs> Alrighty. That's, uh, I'm just one person, though. That's, that's, that's Zeke. Technically, no one else said anything in this, so it's Rook against it, Shayless against it, and those were the only two. That, oh, and no, I think those were the only two that kind of said anything. So. Well, it sounds like time-wise, so we're guaranteed <clears throat> losing time, escorting it out, but it promises a, an efficient path. Yeah, but so it's, it's, its reasoning definitely is uh, dubious. I mean, it's an all it's a, obviously some kind of entity, and it knows the way out of there. Surely it does. Right. Um, so, I mean, it, it, it's an entity that can consume essence. That Definitely and it, evil. It didn't kill us. It didn't because it's little, <laughs> it's, it's little, little harems. Little harems. <laughs> um, uh, didn't uh, they like Zeke? Everyone likes Zeke. Zeke. Zeke's he's everyone's just, best he's friend. He's the fuck boy. He man. is fuck boy Zeke. He <laughs> that suck boy Zeke. It's like the fucking Zeke and Patrick just killing it, <laughs> just slaying <laughs> puss <laughs> left and right. Rook just jerking it sadly. <laughs> no, Rook, I don't even think he knows what masturbation is. He's a good he's, Christian. He's asexual. He's a good Christian boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rook's a virgin. Nightingale's too uptight. Remy throws it back. Throws it Shayless is too, like, a butch. <laughs> so it's like, you know what? Get it. You're, just you're those a hands. <laughs> <laughs> those carpenter knuckles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's how the, all that's going down mm -hmm. yeah i think it'd be fun i mean how could you say no to that how could you say no to the blood draining glowing <laughs> coffin with demonic imps carrying it around demonic imps with their sexy mm -hmm. sexy feet out yeah sexy feet all right and you know zeke's a feet guy i will follow your lead sir. and you can tell me in your campaign when you do the complete opposite how that I, goes i will i will <laughs> I will regale You're like, him. oh man, we oh, should have buddy. we should have helped him. Uh, so then we go, we continue on to anything for our friends. Have you ever been so into someone that you that you just act kind of stupid? What like a, like Zeke is like he's just kind of like so weirdly into justice, which I it's like you're I'm going to hoping the two days. I'm hoping for a twist that justice is actually evil and yeah. she like kind of like mentally warped Z because it's mm. like he is acting a little too into her that's yeah. like but they're probably <laughs> we had that we shared three quips that yeah we're, I, I we're in love by marvel movie standards <laughs> yeah. like he, it's it's a love for the ages didn't he kind of play guitar a little bit i think he, he did. played, he played Wonder, some kind of he played wonderwall yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the anything other? for our friends I know it's not a great option. Look at fucking romance we're in the running Hobbit. On limited they like talk two yeah. guys in the elf and the here. dwarf. We, won't get back we to love each other. To warn them about the eerie. Yeah. This is the best option. Shayla grumbled in disapproval mm -hmm. at the group's decision, but otherwise didn't protest. Nightingale suddenly called out from behind Zeke. We'll do it, she shouted, heading towards the coffin. The eerie is dangerous enough on our own. We could use your help as much as you could use ours. I'm not helping you. <laughs> a wise choice. The coffin bellowed. Oh, wise choice. I will show you the way. Come follow me. At the shout, both pixies took to the air again, dragging the coffin through the open doorway. They carried it surprisingly fast. So fast, in fact, that Zeke had to hurry out of their way to avoid being crushed beneath the visible weight of the object. 
Its wooden body was rimmed in a metal casing that scraped heavily across the ground as the pixies tugged at it. Metal ground against rock as the movement of the coffin ran through the air with a horrible sound. There was no way they'd be able to sneak out. Zeke just hoped that the coffin was as strong as it claimed to be. This was going to be a strange trip. We marked the story flag Coffin Buddy. <laughs> And we continue to escorting Coffin. So for the record, if we had chosen the other option, it would have been a boss fight. Mm -hmm. um, so, so now, oh look, there's an ending. So then we continue to 422. That's like way ahead. Oh well, there we go. <laughs> it's a uh, there's the encounter. Is that okay. Escorting. <clears throat> escorting a coffin. Okay. Yep. So. Oh. That will be... I'll see if I can find it, at least. Um, yeah, you skip a bunch of stuff. Really? Yeah, we went from, like, uh, the, the one we were just on in the numbered order mm -hmm. was anything... That was 39, and we skip all the way to 69. Nice. Escorting a coffin... A soul butcher has crashed through a wall, opening up a new path. In front of you, a pair of tortured immortals are reinforced by fraggers. The putrid stench of the den makes you gag. Luckily, killing the creatures isn't necessary. You just need to get to the other side. Across the pit, the double doors you originally came through are now closed. Despite the scene before you, the coffin seems unconcerned. The pixies start pulling their charge to the exit, apparently expecting you to follow. Okay, so damn it, I have, we could have actually just kept it open, so or kept the previous one. So I need tiles. Fifty-two. It's gonna be that stack, yeah. Fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-eight, sixty-one, sixty-three, and seventy. Dope. So, uh, yeah, so Land of the Shadow Lord, or Lair of the Shadow Lord, same thing. So 54 is going to be, and you guys are going to get to watch what I try to avoid. 52 is right here. Like so, and then 61, it's going to go up top, okay, 61, then here, and here. Did it say a pair of soul butchers? Uh, no, no, just the one soul butcher. But we do. Oh, you did. You got it. Nice. So it's gonna go there, and then there. And we have two more of these. Yeah. So we have a yeah torture the mortals again. So we have a soul butcher back. No cave sickles right now, no blighted guardians, torture the mortal, and um You said fraggers? Fraggers. We're gonna fucking nerf our spellcasting. Pretty much. So that's it right now. Uh, we need the red objective. Or not red objective, red totem. Uh, we're just gonna go actually where that guy is. Uh, blue exit will be uh, kind of right where Remy is. Yep. Oh, sorry, yellow totem. No loot. Where's the yellow totem? Uh, right here. And then, yeah, if you just want to put the pegs on those guys. Like the, oh, there's the ones for the, I mean, yeah, two sets. Uh, there's three, um, fraggers. Oh. 
I don't know why that just feels like a slur. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Fucking fragger. Jeez. It's like, whoa, whoa! So there. Interesting. Ah, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. So, is that right? Yeah, I just had that reversed. I think. Yes, yeah, so that's actually there. Terrain. She needs some constructing terrain. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I think I have all that. So, is there a circle for the um, coffin? Do we have a thing for the coffin? It's showing like a circular thing. Those are all the LP stuff. So we all start. Okay, where do these all go? Oh, so yeah, so let's see. Number one, Fragger is here. Number two is here. Number three is here. Uh, this guy is all the way over here. The first one is there. And then this guy <clears throat> is there. Okay, we're down here? Yes. Are we in the light again? Uh, yep. Sweet. And then we need to find how the coffin works. Oh! He has a mini. He does have a mini. Bad ass. I was wondering, I thought that was like a pretty cool one. I was like, what the fuck is that? Right? Well, technically, it would have been a boss. Yeah. So I don't think... Well, maybe is there a setup? Yes! Ha ha ha! Obscene Rescindo, coffin bound soul. So we are unlocking hidden cards. Uh, 46. Is he helping us? He has a card, yep. Nice. Um, yeah, large hidden cards. And eventually, may also. Oh, we can play him. An adventurer may also play the obscene Rescindo using its combat. Com uh, yeah, his command card. Sexy. He's a new player. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, I'm playing him forever. Uh, yeah, he starts right there. Why is this, like, weirdly... Hopefully, I just remember to just edit all this out, but I probably won't. Let's get our slurs in. Yeah, so it tells us, yeah, UM-486 and stuff, because uh, I guess he was supposed to be an enemy, but he's not here. Yeah, so we Adventure has to end their turn on the blue exit. Um, there you go. Oh, boy. You're taking the big boys. Yeah, that is 46, right? Okay. During this counter, yeah, using his, well, it says using his command combatant car, but he doesn't have, that's, that's his, that's the, the boss one. So it almost feels like it's a typo. How many points does he have? Five hundy. There's no way. Well, maybe, but that's the thing. It's like... There's no... Command combatant... For this. So that's why it feels kind of weird. Like, yeah, I guess he would have 500 health. He's still the same guy. And these are all cards that we definitely... Wouldn't have. Command, command, <laughs> command. Jesus. He's pretty basic, but he's very lethal. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just go with that card. That's the only one I have for him anyway. Even kind of looking ahead through the... Maybe there's no other cards? Wow. No, there's nothing saying his his name. So... Yeah, there's nothing saying his name, so I'm guessing we just kind of play him as if it's a... Uh, obviously, it's as, as if it's an ally. Which is good. I mean, he is a soulbound dude. Yep. So what do we got? We got him. He's not immune to any conditions, though. He He's can not? Be con oh, oh, he oh, yeah, he is poison. I'm like, there what? it is, there it is. Poison condemn. Okay. But you could disease him. Ragger. He's got a pretty wicked heal. Yeah, you'd have to debuff the fuck out of this guy. Well, good thing we didn't fight him. <laughs> Just planning for my inevitable battle with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting all that meta knowledge. After this, you're yeah. gonna be like, all right, guys. They're like, yeah, no, we don't want to help him. And you're like, I highly recommend we do. <laughs> No, no, I, you know, that whole Alana fight, despite my meta knowledge, I let Ethan make the call, and it was the same thing, so we, we had to, we milled through 1,200 hit points. And you're like, hey. I, well, I was just like, <laughs> alrighty. I do not envy you. Okay, yeah, so we just have to end their turn on the blue exit. Uh... I don't see any reason why we... Okay. Yeah, budge. Only read the following hidden text when instructed to. I don't see any reason why we would ever see these. Unless you went out of your way to look for them. Yeah. But you know me, I'm certainly fucking not. <laughs> All right. Now, cool. Patrick. Well, you gotta get through our fucking obscene gaze first. Soul Butcher. Yeah, that's true. 500 health on that bad boy. Fragger. Obscene Rescindo. Nightingale and Remy. So let's learn a little, a little bit about this guy. Okay. The Obscene Rescindo sat motionless in its cavern. To an observer, it would look like an ordinary coffin, presiding over illusory treasures more abundant than any pharaoh's tomb. Each illusion was another lord to tempt the denizens of the eerie into its lair. The Rescindo would capture a creature inside itself, then drain their energy to fuel its own enchantments. It had been doing this for so long that it sometimes forgot how it had gotten there in the first place. It was human, once, though it couldn't remember its name. It had forgotten many things since sealing its soul into the coffin. Then process left a haze over its memories. The price of freedom. If it weren't for the obscene Rosindo's loyal espers, it would have a, had a hell of a time piercing, uh, piecing its past together. The two pixies had explained what happened to the coffin a dozen of times. Each time the tale was more embellished than the last. In the most recent rendition, the pixies explained that the three of them were betrayed and trapped in the Eerie, and those responsible had gotten away with it. The obscene Rosinda was once a handsome man and a dashing knight. While on a noble quest, they had struggled to escape the chasm, but a powerful force had sealed them down here with countless abominations. Despite the dangers of the Eerie, the three had managed to survive for quite some time until a new threat appeared. All the death had drawn a Shadow Lord into the Eerie. Knowing that his soul was in danger of eternal slavery, the obscene Rosinda used his considerable powers to bind his soul into a construct in the shape of a coffin. He abandoned his body of flesh and bone for a new vessel of wood and iron. The obscene Rosindo liked this version of the story the best. The idea of revenge made it feel like someone was responsible for this torture. It also meant it could end this pain and bring closure to its existence. One day it would discover a way to escape and seize it. Whoever had trapped it here would pay for the suffering they had caused. See? He's just he's such a good he's guy! He's, he's not going to just lash out at any victim. living creature. <laughs> he's a victim here. And uh, you could tell just how uh, emotionally stable his <laughs> associates are by, you know, the way their gaze kept turning dark as soon as uh, we were even considering that we weren't there exclusively That's to save true. him. That's true. I imagine, like, the dark girl anime eyes that yes. get fucking Yeah, evil. like the lines. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, so torture the mortals. Okay, they're tortured, they're immortal, and they're here to fuck. All right, is there a poet with two? No, is there a poet with an S-O-Y? Yes. One, two, 
two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so he can uh, he can target the the thing. Okay. He's gonna cast a spell six against all opponents with an SOI, and it's gonna be a pull. So he's casting with gray. It's gonna be a fourteen against the Crescendo. Okay. His uh, conviction is blue and gray. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a twelve. Okay, he has pulled six. Um, well, he has crush. He's immune to poison and condemn whenever he deals damage. Oh, he heals? Equal to the damage dealt. So he's pulled six. Yep. One, two, three, four. four. Okay, so he's here. Okay. Is there a point with a reach, too? Why, yes! He's going to make an attack now. Uh, Wait, well, I guess I should also say what he does. So, it hit Smoldering Soul is what I just read. Maddening Gaze, when an opponent starts their turn adjacent or not within SOI of the Obscure Rescindo, or the Obscene Rescindo, cast a spell six against that opponent and flick can- Oh my god! And flick condemn. Opponents flanking the Obscene cannot be targeted by the spell. Opponents that fail the conviction check associated with the spell by four or more are not inflicted with condemn, but instead must spend one SP to move towards the Obscene Rescindo. This counts as their move action for the turn. If they do not have one SP to spend, they still move, but recover one less SP during their refresh phase. Okay. That's, uh, that's disgusting. You have fun with that in your campaign. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Uh, okay, he's going to try to attack the Obscene Rescindo. Okay. He got a 12. He is defense is 14. So he missed. He missed. Is there a counter or anything? No, nope. he, he has like two things he does. Basically, all he does is just inflict condemned to everyone near him or around him. Okay, then move to the furthest space possible from opponents. That's right, they do hit and run tactics. So. Um, please. And his move is six, so possible. Five hundred health, and all he does is just have an AOE. It reminds me of like the tower in Elden Ring that cast a. Uh, mm, oh, yeah, what was that madness. Called? Yeah, it was a madness. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he moved there. Um, okay, then all opponents who were hit by one of the previous attacks, nobody then make an attack against. Okay, yep, he's done. Okay. Or oh, red. Unlike the other one. Uh, yes. SOI, okay, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to try and pull the Rescendo. Ooh, that's a 10. So a 16. 20. 20, okay, that didn't happen. He is, is there a... He's like, I'm not getting fucking pulled again. Uh, nobody within reach. Is there an opponent within reach, too? No. I guess slight spoilers uh, for you, potentially, but I did see whenever I was trying to find his combatant card. Um, I did see that the, the fairies have a card, so I bet you have to fight them, too. Oh, great. You do, not us. Okay. Oh, well, he so he moves, and he's done. So is there there's something about his maddening gaze? How did that work? Does it it's affect when they start their turn adjacent or not within SOI. Okay, so he was within SOI, so yeah. he's fine. Yeah, yeah, Okay. So now, whenever he goes again, he'll just he'll, he'll immediately cast Condemn. Okay. All righty. That, that, they're done. Padrick! Oh, Patty boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen and down. Did they make you sing that? What? Um, I can't remember. Danny boy. Did who make In high you school? Sing? No. Um. No. Uh, you're like, yeah, me either. Um, I'm going to shoot that living... Or that that uh, torture the mortal. No, like in school, I remember in elementary school we did Phantom of the Opera. Mm, that okay, was cool. cool. I'm gonna shoot him. Click, click, boom. <laughs> that is a Not bad. fifteen. I need a sixteen to hit them, don't you I? You need a fourteen. Hey, actually, that's there. one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine damage, but I might push him. We'll do the second attack, and then we'll just do them both. Yeah, so nine damage. Here's the second one. That is a 13, so that one will miss, right? Yeah, yeah 13 will miss. Um, and I think, yeah, it's a five I need. I'm not going to reroll. I'm just going to have the coffin do everything for me. So the first, uh, it'll be a difference of, uh, it'll be a 11. Nope. Okay, 11. Yeah, check. Yeah. 
Let's see here. Is he within Shayless's range? He's just outside by one to make him re-roll oh. with the MP3. He failed. failed, so he just goes... Ah! <laughs> Buddy! Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing... Uh... Yeah. No, nothing here. Nothing nothing here to get us rare items. Except item loot! Hey, baby! Roll two white dice and suck their assholes. Eight. That's a relic! Hey. That is a rare relic. Nice. I'll take that, Daddy. Uh, it's really hard to get a weapon out of that. Yeah, you need max roll. Yeah. But instead, I got the vape remedy. Can I give that to Zeke? <laughs> like, man, these are so much better than cigarettes. <laughs> I love how everything's like hipster aesthetic. Like the gear and everything. Yeah, it's still like... There's a lot of like posts on the board game groups I follow of people asking of best campaigns or what's the best story campaign. And uh, I actually do say Madara, uh, and a lot of other people do too. And yeah, the I love the modern mm -hmm. JRPG take. Conviction upgrade up to a green. You can nice. flip it. All allies within SOI heal six and remove all negative effects. Nice. That is a really good just... He just... He, <laughs> he's he's doing like a tree. Like fucking cloud. He's sitting there like on the table trying to do a... No, guys, I got it. No, I swear. Just wait. <laughs> Dies of popcorn lung. <laughs> uh, what's another one? I've actually seen some really insane... Uh, like vape tricks where it's like they blow a smoke ring and then they bl like somehow do it to where like the smoke circles around the okay. it's like I don't know how, you, how you're doing that you still look like a tool it's but like you're a, a cool tool Shayless 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 oh yeah I start with the three okay and both of my shit's broken so I have like nowhere like uh, right, okay. oh yeah so yeah to start dressing like this dude yeah, it was just sleeveless with a scarf. We could. Uh, and then get a belt that says MCFU. Okay. I don't know what the MC is for, but I guess, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Get out of my way. Fuck it. Manly, yeah, the manly <laughs> hands. Um, then I guess I can. Oh, I couldn't boost it. I want to be able to attack. I'm going to try and fucking murder that fragger in here. Yeah, the fraggers are just going to suck, except they're all going to... I'm going to give them the old fucking chains of command. Um, that... Oh, I was like, where did that guy start? So he ran this far back. Yeah. Okay. He's, like, yeah, he's right on the uh, totem, which I totally see now, by the way. Oh, yeah. Do you? No, you don't. That I thing's guess. red. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Those are hard to notice. They are, yeah. That's kind of a little bit too dark. Okay, that's going to be you. 15 to hit a fragger. That's two over. Yep. Two. Two, five, eight, eleven. How many hit points do they have? Eleven. Don't they have twelve? Sixteen. Um, eleven. 16, 16. He is super dead. Nice. That was uh, purple? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the purple TI. He's dead. Dead. Nice. And I will now use Master of the Vessel to get me generate me a star and use Physical Perfected to use that star to gain a stamina. Okay. Yeah. She's done. All right, Soul Butcher. No opponent within range. Oh, actually... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, not within range eight. No opponent adjacent. No opponent within reach two. Can it move and attack opponent within reach two? No, otherwise heal five, then move. So he's just gonna one, two, three, four. Okay, then the fraggers. Okay, the red fragger. Is there an opponent adjacent? Why no? Is there an opponent within range six? No, 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 no not with that pillar in his way. Yep. Uh, can it move adjacent to an opponent with a movement of four? He can. Well, actually, yes, he can. 
Okay. I'm run up there to his death and do a purple of physical damage to the coffin and to himself. One damage. Okay. All right, he one, goes down. One to damage to red. Are you writing him down? I am. Okay. And to the coffin, he yep. goes down to four ninety nine. Okay. He's done. That was Red's turn. Now Orange, within range of six. Uh, he can target the coffin from this range. So, yep, yep, just that tail right there. Right underneath him. Okay. Range six against the furthest opponent within range. So it's going to be two greenies against the coffin. It's going to be an 11 to hit. 14. Nope. Okay. Uh, he shits a bulb. Okay. Right there in his corner. His little cornery flap. Okay. I fucking hate those bulbs. They're so annoying. Continue down. Can move to be adjacent. One, two, three, four. No. Otherwise, move. One, two, three, four. Okay. Fires are done. All right. The obscene Rescindo. Oh, right. He was... Was he, he was outside of the SOI, so what happened before he Oh, even yeah, took he would have. Uh, yeah, so cast a spell six. His spell is uh, empowered and a gray. God. Oh, yeah, he also started his turn out. So here's the spell six. Okay, so that's going to be 13. So the conviction. Who's it for? Uh, we'll do the Soul Butcher. Who you very, you very much succeeded. Uh, so then this, that was for him. So now that fragger. <laughs> oh, uh, that's going to be 20. Wow, did he immediately... Th so he's condemned. He's condemned, okay. And then so then, at the start of his turn, right, he'd roll for the condemn? Uh, this no, he just received it on his turn. So I don't think he'd roll immediately. Because it's on their turn, right, that he cast these spells? At the start of their turn. So start of turn phase, then status phase. So he does Okay, roll. all right. So... Again, remember that for whenever uh, you have to fight him. You have to immediately roll if you fail. Uh, and also have to fight 500 health okay. with three armor. I'll record it for you. <laughs> just text me and be like, hey, yeah, we lost. <laughs> and that's actually an ending. We just died. Mm -hmm. uh, did Red start outside oh, of it? Um, Where did Red start? Uh, Red was in it. Okay. Yeah, and then opponents that fail associate with the spell oh, wait, um, that fail the conviction check associated with the spell by four or more are not inflicted. Okay, so you might you so can. It seems like the way to beat him is flanking. Yeah, uh, but instead they must. So it has to spend. Oh, there is no SP for them to move. Uh, yes. Okay. Is there an opponent? Yeah. Anyway, now is there an opponent adjacent? Yes. Cast a spell six against an adjacent opponent. So spell six. Okay, that's going to be 12, 14 against red. 14 against red? Yep. 12. Failed. Takes 12 magic damage. <laughs> against red? Yeah. yeah. Just, okay. Just, yeah, 12. Just Are a, you writing oh, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just a flat 12 magic damage. And... Any opponents who fail the conviction check associated with a spell by 7 or more are defeated instead. He uh, rolled a 12. And it was a 14. Okay. Any opponents who are flanking the obscene cannot be targeted by this spell. Yeah, yeah, flanking is what kills him. Otherwise, so then continue down. Otherwise, move towards the furthest opponent. He has a uh, crush. So he so has... He'll just move through him. Yep, one, it... two... Well, see, that's the thing. Is like, how the hell does he move? He has crush. So that means they don't... But uh, he, this is the same area that we had an issue with with the fucking... Soul Butcher. So I guess he would go one, two, three. Because he, you he can't move diagonal. So, well, here's the thing. So with Crush, they act like um, characters aren't there on the board. No, I know, but I'm talking about he can't get past this. Well, he he can't get past this window because there's a empty pit there, and he can't get past this because there's unblockable terrain in an empty pit. Um, there's. That we'll have to check the rules for four figures again. Oh, fuck. Sure, he's here. So, one, two, three. Four, I know they only... Uh, one thing I remember is that they're not affected by special terrains unless it's all of the terrain in that space that they're so in. So he gets uh, disease. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So crushed and crushed was a purple die of damage. Uh, yeah. Okay. Exactly enough to kill red. So red just gets and then orange. Ooh, one damage. Let's just dot him. Okay. Uh, then make a separate range four attack against each opponent within range. So just the red one. Or just the orange. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be two blue. Sixteen. Uh to his our defensive thirteen. So three, four, five. Five damage. Okay. Knocks him down to ten. Okay. What is this? Oh, disease. Uh, yeah, Nightingale. Mm. Now let's just do the once per encounter. Everyone gain an SP. She gains two. So now, what do I want her to do? Let's have her. We're just going to have her move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to stop there. Okay. She can't really do anything else. Then Remy. Okay. Anybody? I don't that? think so. I don't think so. No, yeah, I mean, we got this cow coffin. This is going to be doing a bunch of stuff. So, boom, 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 boom. Nightingale, Soul Butcher, and then Remy. Okay, Fragger. Condemn. Nope. Alrighty. Uh, is there an opponent adjacent? Melee attack. No. Okay. Uh, is there an opponent within range six? Yes. Uh, furthest opponent within range. So that's going to be... Is that Remy? Yeah. Going to minus one, which I'll dodge. Oh. Okay. You yep, ain't hitting me. Okay. It still shits a bulb underneath me, though. Ow. Oh yeah, and those pop when anything adjacent to it moves. Yeah, break attack style. Yeah. Okay, he did that, and then uh, he's already adjacent, so he's gonna explode himself. He five damages himself in the coffin. Okay, he's down to five health, and the coffin is down to four uh, ninety four. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's cheating because it's like it, it specifically mentions command. Mm -hmm. Combatant cards, so it feels like there needs they to be like they didn't give us one. They didn't give us one because every other time, it, you know, they've had to manage SP and all that. So it's right. like, all right, well, technically he's not an ally. He's just we're carrying him out. So I guess that it does make thematic sense that this would be it. But yes, yeah, it's kind of odd. Um, that's probably in like the <laughs> wave wave two stuff that's supposed to be coming, like updated packs. Mm -hmm. Patrick. Gonna gain his three SP. I'm actually gonna spend that three to reload a shotgun, which I forgot to flip. But yeah. Um, oh, it's actually only two. Well, after the brutal runs we've done, this is a nice breath of fresh air. It is. Nice isn't breath. It? Just to take it easy for yeah. once. Let someone else do the heavy lifting. Right. Uh, so let's do. Yeah, let's move. So we will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll stop there. Yeah, we're just like kind of like pushing the coffin, and it's just like this AOE maddening aura. <laughs> I'm loving it. Torture the mortal uh, has to survive a so oh eight uh, plus 18. six four eighteen. Gross. And uh, yeah, this isn't happening. Nope. Is he condemned? He is very much condemned. And you say we roll now? Yep. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. All right, now he takes his turn. Yep. Uh, okay. Is there an opponent with Henry's 2? No. Is there an opponent with an SOI? No. Is there an opponent with Henry's 2? Oh, actually, two? sorry. He has to move towards the uh, guy. Oh, his full movement? Yep, and it counts as, full, and it counts as his move. We still, yeah, we still haven't seen that totem. No. Okay. Neat. He's done. Or right, that's his that's his movement. The, yeah, that counts as his move for the turn. Oh, he's an enemy. <laughs> yeah. So I guess he still does. Okay, now he does his checks. Yeah. Oh, uh, within reach two, no. S O I yes. So yep, he's gonna try and deal with it there. Pull. Nine or fifteen to, to the coffin. To the coffin. Well, let's see. All opponents with an SOI, so that is including Patrick. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So here's the coffin. Fifteen. No, yeah, fifteen. Yep, he got it. Okay, Patrick is uh, seven. Okay. Well, um, Patrick is would be pulled six. All right, <clears throat> he's off. He just keeps dying. I mean, basically, whenever you don't restore, I like have no faith in like anything. It's like, okay, he fell off. So Patrick's done. Okay. All righty. So that was his pull. Is there a pull with the rage to now? No. Then he otherwise he moves ten. Okay. okay. He's done. Uh, Shayless. Okay, full stamina. Yeah, and all we have to do is just... Oh, he, you can re-roll. Sorry. You could have re-rolled your conviction with my barrier. What did I need to get, though? 15. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Okay. But Don't even think a max roll... Yeah, I mean, a max <laughs> roll would get me a 16. Um... <laughs> Fuck it, we'll see what the totem does. I mean, I guess theoretically I can use my once per encounter earrings. No. I see the red totem. Huh? The red totem. Oh. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm gonna go see the blue and greens too. Uh, God, that's always the fiddly shit. A gatekeeper sends her poppets out, commanding them to attack. Ah. Spawn a gatekeeper on the spaces to unoccupied, then place three poppets on any unoccupied normal terrain space adjacent to her. The gatekeeper. Uh, you want to hand me a red circle? Yeah. I can get the poppets. I can get the car. Gatekeeper. Let's put this there. Now then, of course, I gotta find the initiative. Because then we'll go after. Is that the end of Shayla's turn? No, she just moved. Okay. That was all she was doing. Um, let's see. Five. It was just at five there. So I'd have to boost to get within range. To which now I will chains of command and try to fuck up this gatekeeper. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
a 15 hit. Yes, two over. Two over, nice. So, six, okay, three, six, nine, 11. 12, 15, 18, 19, 22, fuck it. Is this a ranged attack? 22, yes. Okay. Oh, they're resistant, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be half damage. Twenty-nine damage. Halved is fourteen. Uh, with armor of two, okay. it is twelve. Check so. of eleven. Check of eleven. Conviction is gray and green. Nineteen. Reroll that. Seventeen. Okay. All right. Their turn. They are not with an SOI or anything, so they have to make a... Oh, um, did I? I did not have two books. Darn. Okay, so it's going to be a 13 for them, which conviction is just too green. Oh, yep. Oh, what was weird is I picked those up at 9 and 9, yeah. and wow, they rolled 9 and 9. Uh, they, they also have protection, I believe. Oh, so they would get the... They'd also get that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nope. They very much succeeded, so... Pop its move. Uh, yeah, move up to two spaces towards the nearest opponent. Okay. Is there an opponent Jason? No. Is there an opponent that shares a space with a poppet? No. Can it move to put an opponent with an SOI? Yes. Uh, ooh, move to put as many opponents with an SOI. So... There, so you put... Tiny that put these three okay. with an SOI. Okay, cast a spell six. Oh, to... shit. Well, well sorry. The, the bulbs only affect us, right? No spells. Oh, yep, you're right. All opponents cannot cast spells. Yeah. So to Which, keep that in mind. None of, I haven't done anything with Nightingale, so, okay. but yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. Uh, kind of prior towards an opponent who is adjacent to the most opponents. So I guess it's Remy or Nightingale. It'll be Nightingale if we're, so we'll target her. Cast a spell six. Casting is green. Eight, so 14. Conviction is two green with Nightingale. 15, hey, so it. she succeeded. Okay. That was the gatekeeper. Obscene Rescindo. Is there an opponent adjacent? Yes. Cast this against an adjacent opponent. Um, who do I want him to attack? This is going to be 12 magic damage. The fragger only has 5. That stupid, uh, Torture the Mortal hasn't, um... Yeah, we'll do the... We'll do the Torture the Mortal. So, spell... What is that? 4. 4. So, 12. 12. 12 damage, just Ouch. flat. So, uh, 12, 3, so 33. And any opponents who fail the conviction check associated with by 7 or what did I get? 8, and what did I get? 14? Mm -hmm. So 6. six. Not quite there. I guess you really have to fucking flop it, don't you? That's very easy. With dice, there's nothing that just... like. Well, I mean, because like the, the lowest on these dice, like for... Like, the lowest he could have rolled is seven. That's the that's the shittiest roll. I mean, it could have easily been a ten. That's true. You're right. Like, you're right. That you could, could just be that could be a twenty, them. and then it's like, oh, you're just defeated. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, because there's nothing that adds to your roll. It's just re rolls, which is better than nothing, I guess. Anyway, uh, then move towards the furthest opponent. I guess he would move towards the soul. Um. The soul butcher. But. I mean, he has crush. So I guess he would crush Remy. Uh, 
fucking know, man. It'd be really cool if we had a combatant card. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. So, Nightingale. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's have Nightingale get one, gain her SP. And then we will gore shot the gatekeeper has protection. So, not super great. Definitely not great. Okay. Whoo, 12. I can, I mean, her barrier is up. I can give it to anybody. Oh, I can't even cast spells. No, oh, true. I mean, you can just, you can just move and then trigger the bulb and then, that's then you true. can cast spells. Unless yeah. it's the fucking paralyzed bulb. Yeah, so that's what it's going to be, but yeah. Yeah, I'll move. Okay. Um, so both her Remy and the coffin get a purple of physical damage. Okay. Two, two damage, which Ouch. she has defense uh, by two, so she actually takes no damage. Uh, anyway, so I'll go one, two, sure, I'll go there. Then I'll cast Gore Shot. I'll cast it against the Soul Butcher. <clears throat> Could try to condemn him again. I wouldn't mind three more three more looties. Yeah. Um Looty Tooty Fresh and uh, He's most likely gonna get condemned from by the maddening gaze when he goes next. Could very well. I'll uh I'll still attack the fucking gatekeeper. Okay. Okay, eight, so that's fourteen. Very much Oof. got it. Um oh yeah, it's already tapped. <sighs> Gatekeeper. Okay, another 14. Yep. Alright. I'm done with her. Okay. I'm just gonna start heading towards the exit. I'm so fed up with... I just don't like this layout. This layout's not interesting or fun. It's just like, go from here to here. Mm -hmm. And... We're just sitting here rolling dice hoping for a skull. Soul Butcher! Has to deal with madness. Okay, so that's a 16. 16. Oh, of course. It, oh, let's reroll those. I guess it's against her, but I don't care. Oh, hey, he's, he's condemned. condemned. Roll it up. It's a skull, baby. Oh, I actually saw the skull yeah. as I was rolling. Uh, you want to give him condemn? Do we have any more condemn tokens? Oh, yeah. All right. Yay. What's he doing? Is there a non-adjacent opponent within range eight? Make a range attack against the first opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess the the thing. Okay. The coffin. So make a range eight attack. There, there, and there. It missed. So that was that. Is there an opponent adjacent? No. Is there an opponent within reach two? No. Can it move an attack opponent within? Yes, it can. It can attack Shayless. Okay. Are you dodging, good sir? Um, uh, sure. Not a great dodge. Oh, God. That's a 10. He definitely missed. All right. That was that. Then he, oh, well, he heals five. I don't think he's taking any damage. Nope. And then he moves towards the nearest opponent, but he's already there. Remy! Remy! Okay. Secure. I mean, he's an ally, so. One, two. No, actually, let's fly. Fly over the pit and head towards the exit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, if that's what you want to do, we can do that. Yeah, if I dump all my stamina, I can get there. Oh, yay. All right. Well, that was that. Yeah, because it's an adventurer, so... Yeah, I mean, because I don't see... There's no reason to come down here, because there isn't even any loot over there. Okay. Unless... Well, there are probably... 
Was there any that was supposed to be set up? Nope. It probably would have shown up had we gone down there, but we would have probably had to fight a bunch of stuff. I just don't like the jank. Like, well, the missing card is problematic. I'm yeah. kind of curious if they have an explanation on their errata. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing to check. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we do escort it, so... Oh, well, here we go. Instead of ending the encounter, read the special encounter rule, Budge! You push on the door, but it won't budge. It looks like it's locked. Replace the win condition with the following win condition. Oh. There you go. The adventure with a simple key token on their adventure card ends their turn on the blue exit. Oh, so we have to go find a key now. Yeah. Okay, so it's not over. No, why would it? <laughs> it couldn't be that simple. Gotta keep on keeping on. Hey. I think I wonder why that area is there. Yeah. Now. That was the end of Remy's turn, right? Yeah, you just dumped all your stamina there. She's like, dang yeah. it. Soul Butcher. Remy. Fragger. Obscene. Shayless. Gatekeeper. Torture the Mortal and Nightingale. Alright, Soul Butcher fucking needs to roll full. He's condemned. Well, Soul Butcher, di Soul Butcher died. Nice. So that's three loot. Monster loot. Hey, oh, nice. What kind of weapon he's got? I don't know. Do they all have one? Do all monsters have one? Oh, my God. Yep, there, I think... Things on the back. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he have multiples? I'm checking. Nope, that's it. It's his gross ass arm, the soul cleaver. So the soul cleaver is uh, a blue, a green, and a black two handed melee. Uh, gives you an armor. Passive, when making an attack, if the difference by which you hit is less than your total strength value, add a purple of physical damage. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I was looking at the boards about yeah. his card. When making an attack, if the difference by which you hit is less than your total strength value, add a purple of physical damage. Less than you. Oh, damn. So yeah. the stronger you are, the better. Yeah, so whoever has that brute serum, serum combo mm -hmm. with that. Yep. What is it? Oh, it's like a Zonbato, isn't it? Uh, no. Oh. oh, well, yes, but it doesn't say Zonbato. Um, star adds four physical damage. Shields add plus two. Okay. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's blue, green. Blue, green, black, two handed melee, oh, and gives you an armor. Nice. All right. Well, Soul Butcher died. Anything? Oh, um. I have the Intelligent Boss version. I'm sure. Which character seems pretty clear in a separate form thread? You can find the command card on the official Dropbox in the print and play folder. It was yeah. sadly omitted from the final product by accident. Ah. Well, you know, other companies know what they do. They send you stuff that they forget to add, you know, whenever you pay for a game, but I guess not this one. Let's see. Gatekeeper, a large card. Yeah, he's probably, like, way more nerfed. Probably have to spend his P to do his stuff. Oh, yep, there he is. Let's see. From the gray, place defeated ally, animate the devil's dandruff. All of the players, that's why I gain haste. Deteriorate the coffin. Deal 12 damage. He does have a spell. Remove all negative. So he's mostly a buff. He still has 500 hit points. Oh, okay. That's the same. If you want to see. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, he still has Maddening Gaze. So, that's actually still true. Uh, but then they're pulled. A non-adjacent opponent's a fail associated with the spell are pulled for. Um, yeah, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that shit's fucking sent. 
with the extra stuff. Yeah. But we obviously don't have that, so we'll go with the boss card. Okay. Sounds good. I mean, with his 500 hit points, we're not losing, so... <laughs> that is also very true. Uh, anyway, yeah, the Soul Butcher definitely died from the uh, Condemned, so now Remy. Rim dog. Yeah, rim, rim, there's dog. no way the key is not in here. <laughs> That free condemn though is very nice to have on our turn, especially just free dropping eighty HP. Uh, what is it? A war check? For what? To get rid of those fucking puppets. Yeah. Nope. It's Fair. definitely not four. It's another uh, lore. Yeah, I think it's lore strength. So yeah, so basically now the win condition, and also we, uh, I guess I saw the rewards we do restore after this. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. Are they resistant to magic damage? The puppets? Yeah. The old pulpits? I don't know if I want to use them. Hello, pulpit! How many hit points does she have left? The gatekeeper? Yeah. Has not been hit. Oh yeah, she has. Tw uh, 28. 28. Yeah, oh, you have to spend an SP to make a lore 10 check. I did. Okay. Uh, the fragger. Ooh. Adjacent, he attacks! Hold on, uh, roll for a condemn. He dies. <laughs> money. Yes. We have so much money, but yay. Then he goes to the obscene Rescindo. Uh, there is no one. Oh, actually, yes. The Oh, it's when the gatekeeper starts. So, is there an opponent adjacent? Yes. Spell six. Uh, 15, six, 18 against the tormented poopy. The tortured okay. immortal or whatever. Uh, high scene gets 17. Okay, so 12 damage. So, it knocks him down to 21. And oh wait, well you do have to roll because he might just auto be defeated. True. Nine. Nine. Uh, what did I say? It was Seven. eighteen. Yeah. So he's actually just auto defeated. Okay. Which I guess that's that's not on the command card. He would just be pulled for. Gotcha. But yeah, I don't have it. So I'm gonna cheese your fucking game. Uh, yeah. So is there otherwise move towards the furthest opponent, which. I guess I don't have to move him because I don't. I would be controlling him through the command thing, so I'll just keep him there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Shayla's. Shayla. Oh, did you swap your thing whenever she got near her? Is that her thing or is that Remy's? Swap the up. Oh. She wanted to be in melee. Both so of them. So she. It's okay. a curse of feature, it seems. Gotcha. Yeah. So now she's not getting resistance to. And she does not quite have 20 or more damage. Okay. Well, I'm going to um, beat her. Um, beat her old balloon knot. Take. Chains. Um, I'll do... I can still do chains of command with this, though. Cool. Okay. Ooh, oh, buddy. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Well, we're already at 20. So you are 7 over. Ooh, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we're... Uh, so far, total number's 30, 38, 39... 39, 47... 51... Fuck it. Minus her defense value. So, what, what's so it? 57 minus 13 is 44. And then minus her armor value. 42. So 42 damage. Well, that would have actually just straight up one shot her. Uh, yeah, she's very much dead. Cleaved in two. So yay! Do the poppets go away? 
I guess they would never move. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Nice. Gatekeeper, tortured immortal. No enemies. No enemies. Okay. Nightingale. Is Shayla's done? Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just go one, two, three, four, five. Blue. Yep. I'll just fucking go there. <laughs> so I'll see them both. And we will see how effed up. Actually, this might be a good thing. If a bunch of enemies show up, then I can die of my contract. Mm. Okay. Blue Totem was first. You see a massive pile of treasure. It's covered in gore, but that won't make the gold worth any less. Place a blue, red, green, and yellow token on or adjacent to this token. Oh, jeez. Blue, green. Uh, it's all of them, right? Yeah. Hand me all those loot tokens. Oh, jeez. Big cock D. Go grab them. Well, they're yeah. trapped. Yeah, they're all bombs. You know what it says honor adjacent? I'll just do that. <clears throat> and then green. A sickly looking girl calls forth an esper as she sees you approach. Spawn a living oblation on the space of totem occupied. Then spawn a celestial gigas adjacent to the nearest opponent with an SOI. The encounter esper is a gares. Or is a whatever. Yeah. Looking. Oh, oh, do I have the consumption? Do you have a red circle? I, click. I put it on. Oh, I meant for the big guy. No. Oh, okay. No, they don't go that big. They don't go that big. Devin. What's wrong with you? Oh, I remember what I was doing, so... Okay, there's the living thing. Yep, there's the gigas. And they're going now. So... Sure, I'll, uh... Cat oh, hey, Minos, what's up? <laughs> You gonna mean no, sir? Yeah, because she's gonna do the same thing to me. <laughs> God, she's so thick and hot. Got them titties. Ooh, mommy milkies. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, uh, dealt magic damage. So let's see. Uh, imagining it to a number of using both of their conviction dice. So, will you... Both of them? Uh, so. no, it's just one. Just one of her conviction dice? No, both, well, both of her, I thought you meant both of the enemies. Oh. No. What's her health? 40? Yes. Okay. So she takes 15 damage. Nice. 25, and now she's condemned. So... Quite. This is just a condemn area, which kind of makes sense for the, uh, Eerie. And then the Celestial Gigas has how much health? Oh, Same 40. as her. Yeah. 40. That's right. Okay. So there's that. Now she's condemned. Uh, now I will take a damage and cast Euthanasia. So cast a spell six. Uh, let's, oh, that would have been exhausted. Let's just reroll that. Cool. Let's reroll that. Okay, there we go. 16. Nice. Reroll. Uh, 15. 15. Ooh, okay, so she takes 6 magic damage and she's wilted. Okay. So she's down to 19. And then I will flip my book and I will cast it again. Okay, so that will be a 15. A 15. God, you fucking bitch. You stupid fucking cunt. Uh, oh, wait. Um, no, too far away from Shayla's. <laughs> or blocked by rocks. Gotcha. Okay, I'll gore shot her then. Okay, 12. Actually, you know what? Just for shits. On that last one, I'm gonna empower. Oh, look, I beat her by one, so she rolls for condemn. Oh, okay. And she dies. <laughs> nice. Money! That is money. 
That means she's not doing jack shit. <laughs> hey, there we are. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do my other move, because I already moved, <clears throat> so I guess I'll just hold that to dodge. Uh, and potentially counter. So, that is her turn. So, the Gigas. Gigas! <clears throat> okay. It rolls a star. Okay. Is there an opponent adjacent? Why, yes, there is. Make a melee attack and see adjacent opponent with the highest defensive value. So his attack dice is double gray. I will dodge. So that will be a 15. 16. Um, okay. All right. Okay. If this attack would roll lower than target's defense, I would add a purple. So, nope. So it's right at 16, so two damage. All right. Well, I resist it, so. Okay. That's does it. it. To counter, does it have to completely miss, or does it have to do you have to no deal damage? no final damage? No final damage. Cool. I will do my piece of the pawn effects and do shadows. Cool thing about countering, it interrupts follow ups. I think I knew that, uh, so that's nice. So if you can potentially push them back or kill them, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Okay. Anyway, that's that. That totem has gone. I mean, the, potentially the key might be over there. All of these are going to be more enemies. I know it. I just know it. I just know it. The Obscene Rescindo. Of course, the Gigas. Shayless. Nightingale, you stupid bitch. Uh, the Obscene Rescindo. Well, here. I can use the pager and put you in front if you want to go first. Yeah, let's... I just want to see... Well, I love pages. these pagers. They are They're very my cool. favorite consumable. They are. <clears throat> I can see that. Okay. Well, so she's going to gain... Enough SP to basically loot them all. Loot them all. Okay. See how bad it is. Uh, it's gonna be bad. We know it is. So we'll do green first. You find a giant pile of gold. You can't carry all of it, but that won't stop you from trying. You make a strength check while adjacent to this token and gain gold equal to twice the number you roll. Uh, okay. <laughs> Rips her arms. Uh, man, she had the brute serum at one point. She did. Strength check. It's eight plus two, so ten, so twenty gold. Nice. Um, I have to like erase and rewrite so much on these things. It like tears the paper. Then. Um, when making this check, roll the black die. Okay. If a, if the uh, if the result is a skull, the party gains an urgency. Each adventurer may make this check once. Mark how much gold was earned on these checks once it's... Oh! So I guess we could all try and carry gold. Okay. If we all wanted to get there. So that's one. That's good. So we'll keep that one there. Then we'll go to yellow. And which one was that you just That did? was green. That was green. Yeah, okay. I'm going counterclockwise. You find something valuable, choose one of the following. Either immediately gain a random rare item, or draw a combatant loot card and gain 50 times the listed value in gold. A combatant loot card? 50? So what will be the highest? If we got a 10... Is that 500? That'd be 500 gold. I mean, still 50 times. I mean, that's. I think that's way better than a rare item. Yeah? I mean, assuming we get the shot before we get to the Shadow Lord. That's true. It's a seven, of course. It's a fucking seven! I don't want to do the goddamn math. That's 350 gold. Yeah, I know. Do the highest... What's the highest in there? 14? Yeah. So, double that. So, 350... Uh, yeah, that's the lowest number in that deck, I think. Yeah, and uh, I mean... So, 672. Okay, so that was that one. Then we're going to do blue... Inside the chest, you find a simple key. Place this loot token on your adventure card to represent a simple key token. If the adventure with the simple key token is defeated, place it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I got it. Just place it on her. Okay. So we got it. Three. Oh, if, it, if it's ever placed on dangerous terrain, it's destroyed and we lose. <laughs> uh, okay. And then do we do red or do I just... Go for it. You've already spent the stamina. Well, no, I haven't. I have one left. 
So I could take a damage and then do my um, thing and get out of there and start heading um, heading towards because uh, yellow's gone. Not your call. It's just gonna be a fucking. This is a big text block. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's fair. But I am gonna take a damage too. Uh, cast, uh, bring the shadows and make a move. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, I only have five movement. Cause she's heavy. Um. Yeah. So now she is out of stamina. The obscene Rosindo doesn't really do anything. I'm not gonna have him do anything. So celestial Gigas. Okay, Hold he on. gets punchy. Well, he might get condemned as well. It's, uh, 14, 14. Okay, he has protection. Conviction, green, blue, with black. 14. Yep, got yep. it. All right. All right, punch Nightingale. All right, he's feeling punchy. Is there someone adjacent? Yes! We'll be doing a double gray. So it's going to be a 14. Does that hit? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I can't, I can't dodge. Doesn't matter. He's doing like jack shit damage. That's actually like a good place to be, is him just just hitting you. Oh, okay. Because otherwise he'll do more shit. Um, yeah, just one physical damage. Oh, well, then I do. Well, how much over are you, is he? <clears throat> uh, two. So three total damage. Oh. Oh, no, I have one armor, and then I reduce damage by two, so actually nice. I take no damage, so then I will counter and go one, two, three, four, five. Huh. Okay. That's his turn. Shayless. So we're looking for the exit. Or no, Nightingale has it to has be the to one. It has to be Nightingale, yeah. Okay. It has to be Nightingale. Okay. You're going to go get some loot. Well, let's see if I can get to it before you get there. No, that's fair. I mean, she's very slow. And, I mean, I'll, I think I'll take a right attack, but this guy has been kind of a cupcake. Two. I mean, you don't have... You can stay here. And you're adjacent Oh, to. okay. Um, then he gets a break attack at me. Oh, these are all back. Which I get free break. I get free counters with break attacks. Nice. So Two gray? Yes, two gray... Um, yeah, I'll dodge. Oh, nice. So it puts me at 13, 14, 16. 16 to his... 15. 15, that means he's going to roll purple and add to it. So then he gets that to hit me. So, well, over. So it's just, just one it's one under. Uh, so then he's now six over. <clears throat> he, didn't, he doesn't get the symbols on that one. Um... So six over, and he gets one. So was it seven damage? Three, four. Six, okay, no damage. Um, and I get free counters because I'm a badass with break attacks. Fourteen. Does that hit him? I think it's fifteen. She doesn't have hammer helm, does she? No, I think we. I don't, I don't. I think we kind of built her on one big heavy attack. You provoke break attack. You may counter. Uh, okay, so counter doesn't go off. Uh, I'm there. Oh, but uh, damn, I have to hit. That sucks. Oh, well, okay. I grab. Uh, so is it three? So strength check. Yep. So add those with your strength. So is that uh, 12, uh, 15? So it's double, 30. so 30, so 30 gold. That puts us at 1702. 1700? Yeah. Jesus. We literally have not been able to ever shop in chapter 5. It's like we had one right at the beginning, and now it's... Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get a break here. 
You said, well, anyway. Well, I know we were stored. I don't know. Yeah. I guess we are leaving. So it sounds like we're leaving and then we might be coming back. Maybe we'll get, uh, what's her name? Lakshmi will wander She's in. Like, and hey guys, what's going on? Oh, is this You see my chalice? <laughs> yeah. Fucking A, you see how it glows? Yeah. Fucking tight, Yeah, I thought right? it was going to help us out of a bind. No, I just told you it glows. Okay. No, it's like a super powerful aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> Zeke's like, he's like drenched in sweat. That's why. Uh, anyway, so Remy. Okay. Oh, Remy. Okay. Um. I don't have anything to do. Done. All right. Now I think I'll thank God. <laughs> Remy, Shayless. Okay, well, he's going last. Uh, Nightingale. Can gonna you get, get there? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. That's it? Yeah, her movement's only five. Okay. So, next turn, Remy. Well, I totally could have moved Remy out of the way, and you could have gotten one more space out of it. Okay. So then that would put me at two, and then I'm back at five. I mean, we could we can just call it like a, even if Shane. Oh, I'm agree. Down, I agree. Like, I, I, <laughs> it's I, like I've done the same thing. It's yeah. like uh, you totally see the yellow totem from there, though. For that's true. Uh, but just for shits, let's see if he dies from because uh, theoretically, so it's uh, 14, 18 is his thing. Oh, okay. What his? Uh, he's green, blue. Damn. Yeah. Did he get it? 16, he got actually exactly 18. 18. All right, well, that's annoying. Anyway, yeah, so whatever the yellow totem is. If there was a soul butcher on the board, spawn a gatekeeper. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, soul butcher would have spawned. Another it. soul butcher. Yeah. Uh, anyway, soul butcher is there. Yippee. Anyway, we get to the exit. Okay. So, uh, each adventure gains one XP. Restore adventurers, and then we continue to fresh air. Thank God. Uh, going into the Eerie was actually just kind of like we just went in, went in, and then just kind of immediately went out. So all we right. found his ass, and like, anyways, fuck we like, this. How about no? Uh, all right, so that was that, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the rest of the series. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.